Hello! In this video, we are going to discuss a killer approach to solve your complex circuits without using Kirchhoff's voltage law and current law. Before starting our discussion, I just remind you to subscribe this channel for getting amazing tricks in physics and mathematics for doing your problems in competitive examinations. Kirchhoff's laws are essential for solving uh, complex circuit problems. Uh, and you want to study that but for competitive examination purpose uh, circuits having many loops then it's very difficult to solve the problems and also you should take at least four or five minutes to solve those circuits for the implementation of our method we need three tips I will introduce it one by one. Tip number one. We assume that across a resistance there is always a potential difference or potential drop. And in the circuit if there is a resistance there is potential difference between both the ends. Tip number two. There is no potential difference across a wire that means if there is no components in a wire then there is no potential difference tip number three we just assume there is a junction having higher potential most probably this higher potential is taken as the positive side of the battery we take the potential of the uh, junction as x okay then uh, we assume this junction of the higher potential and always the current is leaving from this junction we assume like that uh, before starting our approach we should remember these three tips we are going to apply our method to this circuit the circuit contains uh, two power so power supplies of 28 volt and 7 volt three resistors resistance r1 which is of 4 ohm r2 of 2 ohm and r3 of 1 ohm i am just giving uh, names for the uh, circuit as a b c d e f and uh, for this circuit uh, there are two junctions which is at b one junction is at b and other is at e the junction b is connected to the negative side of battery uh, it's from that it's clear that it's lower potential so I just assume the voltage of B as zero. It is just an assumption. Maybe it is some other volt. But I assume that it as zero. The junction E is connected to the positive side of the battery. And I assume that the junction E has a higher potential. So here uh, I assume uh, the junction E is at a higher potential and I take the potential as X. I didn't know what is the actual value of X. I just uh, take it as X. We are taking the junction E as a higher potential of uh, X. Then uh, you just remember our tip number 3. Out according to that. Uh, from the junction E, current is leaving because it is a higher potential. So, current is leaving that junction. Now, we fix the potential of B and E. B is of 0 volt and E of X volt. 
and now we want to think about other points like a c d and f and for a we know that there is no components across b and a so the value of a is also zero volt remember our tip number 2 here what about c in the similar way it is clear that c is also zero because uh, there is no component across b and c so c is also zero then think about the point d we know that between c and d there is a power supply of 7 volt is connected uh, that means there is a potential difference of 7 volt here and if the value of c is zero then it sure uh, the value of d is uh, 7 volt so the value of d is taken as 7 volt here in the similar way uh, look at a okay there is a difference of 28 volt between a and f so we take f as 28 volt think about uh, junction e we take junction e as x volt which is which is at higher potential uh, that means uh, all the currents are leaving from junction e according to tip number 3 from this data we can easily assume the current through uh, r1 r2 and r3 and for r2 the current is the voltage difference divided by resistance that means here the voltage difference is x minus 0 and resistance is 2 ohm that means x minus 0 divided by 2 is the current passing through the resistance r2 similarly we can find the Uh, current through r1 which is the potential difference divided by resistance the potential difference is x minus 28 here that is the potential difference x minus 28 divided by r1 is 4 x minus 28 by 4 is the current passing through r1 and the current passing through R3 is the potential difference here is x minus 7 divided by the value of R3 is 1. Okay, then we get the uh, we can assume the three values of current here. According to tip number three, we take E as higher potential and all these currents are leaving from the junction. So we can take the sum of these currents equal to zero. by assuming all the currents are leaving from this junction we get x minus 0 by 2 plus x minus 28 by 4 plus x minus 7 by 1 is equal to 0 and from that we can find out the value of x 56 by 7 is equal to 8 by substituting the values of Uh, value of x uh, we can find out the values of current through each resistor very easily there is no need of kirchhoff's laws if you like this video then subscribe my channel we can meet with another video thank you very much